Ушли и морда. here the right punch followed immediately up by a left Lee gets absolutely punished by that head big powerful punch man now he gets back to range stuff the takedown no problem oh eats a knee to the head throwing that jab now again the fighter of eights look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick Inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. And he comes through with a big knee. Way to hide that leg kick. Got him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. What a punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big shot to the head. Look at the force behind that leg. Good sequence of kicks there by Luke. And they separate. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just missed on the front kick there. Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Good stick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. That knee might have landed there. 
Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. That knee might have landed there. Good job, guys. No more, no more, no more, no more. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Hey, round one, round one not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. He has two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice punch, man. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful combination there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice body kick. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. That one sunk in. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. Marty closes the ball. Transition. Nice scramble. Liver kick. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. It clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good punch. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? Try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. If this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Single collar tie now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Pretty significant welt to the left side. And they separate. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice head kick. That strike blocked by Lee. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Straight right hand, no good. Nice, sneaky head kick. Back and forth we go. Shooting for the takedown here. Nice strike. Straight right hand counter, useful. Well, 
Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Head kick. Beautiful strike. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And misses with that one. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Punch coming, it's blocked. Damaging punch there. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Good punch lands. Final seconds here of round two. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That will get his attention. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He blocks the punch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Got the single collar tie. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Right lands. Lee's his strike attempt there is blocked. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice head kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Throws the right hand there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, missed on that one. Leg kick. Right hand upstairs. Oh, massive knee up top. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. And now he lands a combination. Now a knee. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. There's no tell on that leg kick. Single collar tie there. Boy, tie flop. Such a fast leg kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That's a big strike right there. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. The next with a right. Nice kick. Punch is blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Beautiful takedown, Lance. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Dig and kick. Weapons, look at how he uses his knees to the body. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He can't even, he can barely stand. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Oh, beautiful body kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Massive knee lands in the side And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Nice straight punch. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, a huge 
Nice block there. Oh, collar tie. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Back and forth we go here. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Goes back to that left kick once again. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands for the middle. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, how's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he has landed some good shots. Nice takedown land. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now he's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. A triangle, a triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Getting tighter. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep doing it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice punch by Lee. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big kick land. Big kick land. I mean, this is his game. Control your opponent's posture. Land those nice elbows around that, around his guard. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good, solid strike on the ground. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Missed with that right hand. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Takedown defense holds up. Big punch land. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Wow! Dude, hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Yeah? So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. 
Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Close guard. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Nice kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Single collar tie now. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, big head kick land. Big punch in the clinch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Big kick land. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual thing. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over in versus in done. And you know, they still haven't found out over his head. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Straight punch land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice shot to the body there. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close. But I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 48-47, and 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still...